Hey, what's up, Stallions? Go ahead and grab your scissors because I got some coupons for you. Well, they're digital, so I guess you don't need to do any cutting or scrapbooking. But if you're in the market for a very comfortable gaming chair, for example, this big and tall that I'm sitting in, or a premium paddle controller for PS4, PS5, Xbox Series, let's go ahead and slash the prices and get into some seasonal savings here. So sharing my screen over here, I am on the Killa Bee website right now, which, by the way, makes some phenomenal chairs at a very reasonable price. Now, in my opinion, I've said this in the past, the sweet spot for gaming chairs is generally between $160 and $280. Any less than that, you're getting into some real cheap materials and they're simply not going to last. And then anything above that, so four and $500 chairs from Alienware, Razer, Corsair, Secret Labs, you are literally paying for the name at that point. The materials are the same, the functionality, the features such as full reclining and a footrest and lumbar support, four-way adjustable armrests, you're just paying for the brand name. So I would steer clear of the cheap chairs because they're savagely uncomfortable, bad for your back and aren't gonna last. And then the high-end chairs, unless you just have so much money, you don't really know what to do with it. Me personally, I would rather spend my money on games, hookers and blow, just kidding on those last two, but more games. I started with an $80 generic Amazon Basics gaming chair that I used for two years and didn't realize how detrimental it was on my lower back and crack until I upgraded to a a good mid-range chair, I guess you could call it. Also, if we come down here, look at this handsome gentleman right here. That is a horrible, horrible picture, but that is okay. I'm doing like this weird crab claw thing with my hand and I, I look constipated. I don't feel bad because they also got a bad picture of my boy over here. I'm leaning to one side like I'm sitting on one of those maternity donuts that's supposed to take pressure off of your uh, chocolate starfish. Kevin, nobody gives a shit that your face is on a website. How much money can you save us? Good question, I have an answer for you. From November 15th to November 29th, you are gonna use code KE30 at checkout to save yourself $30 on any item except for the 8212 and the 8331 in red and pink. Just those two colors of the 8331, red and pink, the coupon code doesn't work with those two colors for some reason. But everything else in the entire store, that does apply to. My general year-round normal code is KE15, which of course will knock off $15. But from the 15th to the 29th, KE30 will get you $30 off. What would I recommend from them? I'm all about bang for buck. So the chair I'm sitting in right now says Fantasy Labs. It's blatantly a knockoff of Secret Labs. It feels virtually identical to a Secret Labs chair. The materials are are literally just as premium. It has like Alcantara and leather, feels amazing. This is a big and tall chair, which does retail for $300, but it's my favorite chair for a reason. Fucking nice. Also, it's got this cold cure foamed back pad, not memory foam, but cold cure foam, which is actually a step up because it has that same density and absorption and moldability. That's not a real word as memory foam, but it lasts longer. Also, I'm a pretty big fan of the 8331, which is this model here. But remember, if you do get this chair, don't get the red or pink because that doesn't apply with the coupon code. But other than Fantasy Labs, they also have Killa Bee chairs as well. Like those are their two subset brands. And the 9015 over here, which I have also reviewed in the channel, it was black, not pink. I actually have that in my living room right now. As far as a budget entry, the 9015 over here, which I have tested on the channel, retails for $170. So go ahead and take 30 off of that. So 140 bucks. And for that price, this chair uh, fucking kicks ass. It's not a big and tall model like what I'm sitting in right now, but uh, the 9015 was my daily for a while and it is super comfortable not a huge fan of the hot pink who the hell is this she looks really really young she probably had to get a permission slip or a waiver to get put on this website anyway let's get away from that before we get put on a list or something and then over here at the aim controllers website which as of now is my current favorite four paddle ps5 dualsense controller their xbox series controller is an awesome awesome four paddle design they do also have gaming mice and ps4 controllers however i personally have had a lot of hands-on stick time with the ps5 and xbox controllers right now you can get 70 dollars off on a ton of products plus you can also stack my coupon on top of that as long as you do hit a threshold of $225 at checkout which is very easy to do especially if you're doing something like building a custom controller you can get to the 350 range if you start slathering every single option in the builder if you want to do an absolute budget build and get the most bang for your buck you don't really care about having the most flashy cosmetic controller and whatnot what I do recommend you do is get the remappable paddles right here now that's only at 146 throw on the smart bumpers not smart triggers. I've covered in the past why you don't want that because all Sony first party games are going to use adaptive triggers that not only get stiffer or lighter depending on what's going on on screen, but also have a functional use of like a primary and a secondary fire mode in games like Returnal and Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. The trash guy is picking up trash in front of my house. Uh, so if you hear a lot of ruckus in the background, 
It sounds like I'm in a war zone or something. I am completely safe. This isn't a firefight in Fallujah or anything. I'm not shucking and jiving the trenches, but they're picking up the trash in my neighborhood. I'll slap a custom shell on there. See, we're already up to 26, 206. Let's get a nice grippy rubber back shell on there too as, as well, shall we? Oh mm, my God, that's looking clean. Bam, so 226 right there. And then you apply that code and you're looking at about 150 out the door for this controller, a four paddle DualSense controller. You really can't beat that. This was the only PlayStation 5 four paddle controller on the market for quite some time. However, now Hex Gaming has a four paddle DualSense, which I haven't got my hands on for review just yet, but I will in the near future. This is a phenomenal, phenomenal controller. I have tested many controllers from AIM, Scuff, Battle Beaver, Razor, Nacon Revolution, Astro C40, just to name a few, this is by far one of my favorites. I would I would list it for sure S tier. Not even A, this is an S tier controller, in my opinion. Black Week, huh? A little racist, but what do we got here? Black Friday. Okay, that makes more sense. I was like, Black Week? All right. I wonder if I'm on this website too. Let's go over here to About Us, Partners. Oh yeah, there we am. AK40 Kevin, content creator. Click on this link over here. Oh, it's my YouTube channel. Weird. What kind of games do I play? Yep, Apex Legends, Destiny 2, Call of Duty, and retro games. It's almost like they asked me what they wanted on my profile or something. Oh, I didn't even tell you what the code was for these. So aim controllers, it is always going to be stallions. That's what I call my community here, the stallions and stallionettes. So of course my discount code is stallions, which generally, usually, normally will get you $50 off uh, once you hit that threshold of 225. But for this entire month of November, $75 off. Get to that $225 threshold, which we just built a controller for 226, then go ahead and slash it down to 150 for a four paddle PS5 controller. You can't beat that with a bat, <laughs> let me tell you. That is gonna do it, Stallions. Let me know if you do cash in on any of these coupons and what you buy with it. And let me know once you actually get the chair or controller, your honest opinion of it. Even if it's negative, if you have some complaints about the controllers or chairs, please pass that on to me since I am in correspondence with their PR team or their media team and they do listen to content creators and their communities so they can make, golly, my lips are dry. Like the Mojave Desert down there. Hear that or it's herpes. Uh, and they do listen to uh, the gaming community, i.e. content creators and their communities, i.e. the stallions trotting in the stable, and they do make changes and updates to their products. So over time, we get better and better products from them, which is pretty sick. Now I am gonna ask a personal favor of you, and that is that you like this video because that will get it promoted so it gets seen by more people and these discount codes can reach them and they can save a little bit of money as well. Subscribe for news in the gaming community and industry, as well as tutorials helping you get set up streaming into YouTube and honest gaming, peripheral reviews, keyboards, mice, headsets, microphones, etc. I'll see you tomorrow because I upload daily, unless some crazy stuff's going on. Peace.